For the first time since 2016, the Duke Farms Eagle Cam community celebrated the arrival of two bald eagle chicks in late March. As is customary with the Eagle Cam offspring, the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection banded the nestlings and Duke Farms staff assisted. The nestlings were eight weeks old at the time. The process starts with a trained professional climbing the 100-foot tall sycamore tree that houses the nest, 80 feet off the ground. The nestlings are then gently tucked into and lowered to the ground in a canvas duffel bag. Prior to banding, the nestling is fitted with a hood, which helps to keep it calm. The eighth primary wing feather, tarsus, hallux, bill depth, and culmin length are measured and recorded. These measurements are used to determine the age and sex of the bird. This year, the nest yielded one male, E88, and one female, E87. A blood sample is taken to monitor contaminants. Then the birds were each banded with a green New Jersey band and a silver federal band. The band is readable, and sometimes it's only partially readable, but if you know it's on right versus left, and sometimes even if you know male, female, um, then uh, you can narrow down those possibilities and, and often identify the bird. Um, so that's, that's the real reason for these green bands that, that are readable, is that you don't have to wait until the bird is is in somebody's hands in order to read um, this nine digit number. Um, green bands are in use um, primarily in New Jersey. And again, there's someone else using green in the Pacific area, but in the Pacific Coast. So those are definitely not ours. <laughs> definitely not ours. <laughs> After banding, the male eagle was outfitted with a satellite transmitter. These transmitters have no negative effects on the bird's day to day, and they're used to record millions of data points daily. Over 300 eagles have been fitted with the same technology. Birds, uh, if they mess with it at all, uh, they're really only able to reach those shoulder ribbons. And, yeah. uh, um, and they adapt to it pretty quickly? You know, especially young birds. Yeah. Um, you know, because on webcams, you know, we've, we've banded birds and uh, you know, you would think that, you know, there's something on their feet and they're going to feel it and they're... But they really pay almost no attention and if they do, it might be the first day. I mean, this is more than a leg band. After a well-deserved drink, the eagles were tucked back into the bag and returned to the nest, which was stocked with three goodwill fish from the DEP. Birds on! You got it! In 1973, there was just one nesting pair of bald eagles in New Jersey. Today, there's over 150 nesting pairs in the state. The challenge now is to protect the lands and waterways used by eagles to maintain and enhance this species' recovery. We're hopeful that E88 will go on to not only thrive in New Jersey, but also provide information that may help preserve critical habitat for generations of eagles to come. You can help protect eagles by supporting conservation, protecting roosting areas, minimizing public interference, and supporting public policy that protects endangered species, their habitat, and their health. You can learn more about the history of bald eagles in New Jersey by visiting these links.